Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, today I came up with another interesting scenario and uh, and we'll resolve this problem with a interesting power query function that is called a list dot accumulate okay so basically the list dot accumulate function is just like a loop in in programming right so people are aware of the programming languages in any of language like for loop by loop it will iterate through each and every record of the data right so the same way the list dot accumulate also here it works let's go with the scenario so here suppose let's take we have a student name and they have enrolled some courses correct and we are planning to change it suppose sql to sql server excel to ms excel power bi to ms power bi if this enroll courses will be single single right without any separator and all so we can think of a join and get into that i think i have made a video out of that as well but here the problem is it should check for each and every record of this data so it was the first stage for sql if it counts it we change it to sql server second record excel it will go to the excel and it will check power bi power bi like that for each and every record, the individual record needs to be checked. And if it counts the match here, before and after, it will replace it. And finally, we will get this kind of work. Something like this. So, here it will be replaced. Completely, it will be replaced. So, how we can do that? As I told in the earlier, that we will use a list that accumulate function. And we will see it. How we can use this so first of all thing to use the list dot accumulate so basically i loaded both the data so this is my details let me close this uh, so without any interruption so this is my detail which is nothing but it store the before and after state and this is my student data where i want to change it so first one first thing as we need to go to the each and every record we need to make a list dot accumulate and list dot accumulated accumulate function always looks for a list or record either of the record is also a list so for that what i need to do here in the details let's carefully observe that whatever the steps is applied which is fine now i'm creating a new step here okay in this new step i want to convert this into a record so for that i will say table dot to records okay then i will just close this out so what will happen now if you enter if you click on the record it will say sql sql server it is one record now rather than individual columns now it is on a record stage first step is complete now i will go to my student data now that's this whatever i have this i want to apply it across each and every member of the enrolled course okay so for that let's create a custom column here and I will give a new name called say new skills. So it's as promised, we'll see this dot accumulate. It will take first parameter as list. Okay, so my list is at details, so which I created as a record. So that I need to give the first parameter. Okay. Then then seed. Seed is something like on which column you want to change it. In this case, I want to change in or i want to go to the each and every record of which column which i want to change it like in this case it is called the enroll course fine now you need to provide a function or you need to write a function as a called the accumulator function so that i will do it i will enter here so here i will take two parameters okay the first thing is new comma current so these are the two parameters for my function and how to create a function in power b just put this mark equal to in greater than so it will make a function here what this function will do it will search for each and every record of this sql replace excel replace power b replace if it not found it will not replace so what i will do i will say text dot replace 
text dot replace now this function is enrolled course we have to, we have right so this is now represented as a new because we are defining a new function so the first parameter would be my new okay so on that i want to change what i need to change i will say current whatever on the current on the details i have current i will say before what are the before i have data before i can expect comma i say current i will say after that's it i think hopefully it should work so it will what will happen since we are uh, accumulating the details right details is nothing but the records so it will first check for the first record nita that's good the first it will find secret so in this case my uh, the current record will be this this complete record new holds this in this case the new holds complete data c12 excel powerpoint okay so it will replace current before first it will go to the c12 replace it excel replace it powerpoint it will replace it from where from the details records okay so it will go through each and every record now if you say okay if you see here well and it will just change the way it is the new script sql server ms excel ms power bi sql server ms excel powerpoint powerpoint there is no changes it is right to new this so this so i will just delete this column remove and this is the data i will write here right in sense so i will try to give i will give this complete code how i have written everything you can just play around this i will give the Uh, the Excel file size. Well. This is very important. This is a advanced level of transformation which we are doing, and definitely if you use it properly, your life will be changed. Okay, this is very much. And if you put it this kind of things on your resume also while going for the Power BI interview, it will be advanced. Okay, so hope you like this video. Please do subscribe this channel for more interesting content like this. Thanks, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.